Hey, what's up you guys? It's your girl Camila and I'm back again with another video. I just wanted to vlog, not particularly on an item per se, but just about the whole Halloween weekend. A lot has gone down. Um, first and foremost, rest in peace, my condolences to take off. Um, it really just threw every everyone off. Um, it shifted the whole atmosphere. It was just something like horrible to, and tragic to wake up to. And it's not something that you've always you know, one to wake up to. Like sometimes I'm just like, I don't want to be on social media. It's just very triggering. I'm still at a loss for words. It's just very sad. And I send my condolences to friends, family of Takeoff and fans around the world. I myself was a fan of Migos and of course, especially him. To me, he was like the Beyonce of the group. Very talented, underrated, very chill and humble. Um, and just super young. It, it's just honestly heartbreaking. On a lighter note, it is fourth quarter. Um, a lot has happened this year in general, but you know, we're almost there, you guys. It's almost the end of the year. And I myself, I'm excited for what's to come. I'm very grateful to be here, to be present, to be sharing with you what I have going on, my life and vlogging. Um, and for those of you who don't follow me, I am a huge fan of Jen Jackson, and I decided to share very, very last minute, like literally the week before Halloween, to do a Halloween costume. And of course, typical me, Virgo Rising, I overwhelmed myself with not one costume, but five, five different looks. And I just, sometimes it's just so overwhelming and it like really like stirs up my anxiety, but at the same time, I get a thrill out of it just to be under that type of pressure and to do things and quick turnarounds and do quick little shopping and stuff like that. It's, I don't know, something in me just really enjoys it. Um, so anyway, um, if you're thinking about what Janet Jackson look is this, well, right now the hair is really poofed out. So it looks good. It's given Mona from half and half, Scary Spice. But initially the look was from the Velvet Rope era. And this happens to be my favorite album of hers of all time. Um, I love Velvet Rope whole aesthetic and I feel like I've pretty much implemented some of that vibe from 95 to 99. Um, and Janet, of course, it's like the blueprint. Um, she per se didn't wear this, but she did wear a lot of like baggy cargos and like a lot of like black um, tops, whether that be mock um, turtlenecks or nice turtlenecks like this or shirts and leather jackets. So I have this leather jacket to wear outside because it is fall. You know, it's loose. And this was also one of the, part of one of the um, jackets I wore for one of our Halloween looks. And of course I paired it with my uh, main line on um, Rick Owens. And if you look at the skirt, it has an adjustment in the back. This is like my third time wearing this skirt. I think I like it flipped up like this. And yes, this skirt, you can, you can change it and I'm wearing leggings y'all, but you can change this into, you know, you can take this off and change this pretty, pretty much into a mini skirt. But that's not for now, <laughs> unless I have some really, really high knee high boots or whatever. So, you just prop up the hair. Right now, this is given, I don't know. I don't know if you've seen this movie, but it's one of my favorite movies with Sonal Lathan, but it's given Disappearing Acts. And it was a particular scene where she wore like a, it was like a burgundy red leather jacket. And she had her hair that looked similar to mine. Um, and she was walking, she see Wesley Snipes at her, um, you know, the front of her steps and she's like, what are you doing here? Are you following me? <laughs> and all of that mess. But y'all should check it out. It's called Disappearing Acts and it's by, it's adapted from the book, Disappearing Acts by Terry McMillan, who wrote Wait Into Excel, classic. Um, so anyway, that's the other subject. And you guys, of course, I'm gonna pair this with an accessory, but it's actually a legit like accessory. I've been wearing a lot of yellow lens glasses um, because it kind of, you know, it helps me with my my vision. And also I'm, I don't like fluorescent lighting, like re really, really bright lighting, like right now. So this glasses right here, helps me out a great deal. I don't know, you guys, this curl is killing me. I don't know, I might redo it or I don't know, you guys. I'm really not sure. I might take off my wig and redo my actual hair. Who knows? And of course, none other than a Brandon Blackwood bag. This is, of course, my everyday Brandon Blackwood bag, the Jordanus, and it's a Black Kendrick Jordanus, or whatever you want to call it. Um, I'll drop the link in the description 
so you guys can see it. But yeah, this is the bag. This is the look. You know, very casual, sleek, simple, given matrixy blade. I, I, that's my vibe right now, matrix blade, that whole era. You know what I mean? Okay. And this is the look, you know? And you spray a little wig spray. Got my hair done last week. Nah, it's not. Well, has it been a week? No, tomorrow we'll make it a week. But anyway. And that's it. And that's my look for today. I'm going to head out to this party, you guys, and try to have the best night. You know what I'm saying? And that's that. So again, you guys, thank you guys for checking this out. I know this video was pretty, pretty brief and short, but I just wanted to show y'all my look and to show y'all my wig before I take it off and go back to my platinum blonde. You know, no, I'm having fun with her. And I feel like a whole new person. <laughs> kind of, sort of. But now let me know what y'all think. If you're feeling the look. Yep. All right, you guys, have a good one. Stay safe. Peace.